Hello, Year 8, and welcome to a video session on adding and subtracting fractions, um, the second part of the work for this week. Now, um, I thought that it's probably good to do look at the skills here in a couple of stages and um, see how the skills are for each one. Um, so the first stage, you're actually not going to have to answer these questions, but I'll have a look at it anyway, just as a revision from Year 7. Um, adding subtractions and sub, uh, adding fractions and subtracting them. You um, have a couple of examples here, but basically what we're doing is looking for the same denominator, and where these all have. And what we do is we only add then or subtract the top number the numerator and keep the denominator the same so this one one plus one half plus a half you add the two numerators the top numbers one plus one is two and two over two equals one half plus half equals one we do not add the bottom numbers, the denominators. So one half plus a half, if you add the numerators and the denominators, one plus one is two, two plus two is four, well, that's just a half anyway, so not a good idea. It's a bit uh, off the track if you just, if we add the denominators as well. So we just, for these ones, just adding the numerator. But this is only question one, which you don't have to do. But I thought I'd just cover this anyway. So over nine, two ninths and three ninths, add the numerator only, two plus three is five. Denominator stays. This one, seven thirteenths minus two thirteenths, denominators are the same. You just subtract the numerators. Seven minus two is five. Okay. Part two, denominators that are almost the same. I've got two fifths and one tenth, nine twelfths and one sixth. The num denominators are very similar because the second one, or one of them, is a multiple of the other one. Um, uh, Ten is a multiple of five, and twelve is a multiple of six. So what do we do here is uh, we're going to keep the one with the um, highest number in the denominator, keep that the same. And 9 over 12, that's the highest number in the denominator, that stays. So what we're doing now is changing the one with the lowest number in the denominator. Now, the way to do it, we can see 5 times 2 is 10. And then we multiply the numerator by the same. 2 times 2 is 4. And what we've created is one of the key terms I put over here. Equivalent fractions. So... 4 over 10 is equivalent fraction to 2 fifths. And now we've got what we need to do all of this, and that is denominators that are the same. 4 over 10 plus 1 over 10, 5 over 10, equals, then simplify it to a half. This one, 6 to 12 times 2. So we must times 2 the top to create the equivalent fraction. So in these ones here where the denominators are almost the same, this one of them is a multiple of the other one, you just change one of them. This one here, 6 times 2 is 12. 1 times 2 is 2. Now we've got denominators the same, we can do the subtraction. Denominator now stays the same. 9 minus 2, just doing the top numbers, 7. So that's stage 2. 
Next one. Where denominators are different. Okay. So, three-fifths and two-thirds. I'm just going to rewrite the first one. So, here's our working. We have to find, in effect, to create the same denominator, we have to find the lowest common multiple. The lowest common multiple is the best way to find denominators that are the same. Oh. Let's go with the highest number, 5, and see if we can find in the multiples of 5 and the multiple of 3 as well. Because 3 doesn't go into 5, so the next multiple of 5 is 10. Uh, 3 doesn't go into 10 either. So 3 doesn't go into 5, 3 doesn't go into 10. What about next one is 15? 3 goes into 15, yes, 5 times. So 5 times 3 is 15. So 15 is a new common denominator. Do we do to the top? We do the bottom. So 5 times 3 is 15. 5 times 3 is 15. To create the equivalent fraction, we do the same to the top. 3 times 3 is 9. Now 9 over 15 is the equivalent fraction to 3 over 5. And then what have we got here with 2 thirds? That's times 5. So 3 times 5. So I better just circle this one here. That's one we're using. 3 times 5 is 15. And where are we? There it is. Top is 2. 2 times 5. There is 3 times 5. 2 times 5. 2 times 5 is 10. That's the new equivalent fraction of two thirds. And then we just add these two. Equals 15. 9 and 10 is 19. And there's our answer. When you're working out, just show the equivalent fractions and then the answer. Okay, next one 8 over 11 minus 2 over 9. Okay, so going by the highest number 11, this one's a bit harder because you have to go further to get the lowest common multiple and in fact the lowest one is 11 times 9 which equals 99. So what we'll do is we'll multiply this one, 11 times 9, and 9 times 11. That'll give us a new common multiple of 99. That's the lowest common multiple. So now we've got denominators the same. So since we multiplied this one by 9, we're going to have to multiply this one by 9 as well. 8 times 9 is 72. That's the equivalent fraction of 8 over 11. And so this one, 9 times 11, we have to do times 11 by the top as well. 2 times 11 is 22. Answer is the denominator that we've worked out. 72 minus 22 is 50. Okay, next one. Mixed numerals. Okay, for these, we're going to first 
make them improper fractions. That's the uh, efficient way to do it. So improper fraction from 1 and 2 thirds is 1 times 3 is 3, plus 2 is 5, over 3. 2 times 8 is 16, plus 1 is 17, over 8. So 5 over 3 is the same as 1 and 2 thirds. 17 over 8 is the same as 2 and 1 eighth. And now we get common multiple for our lowest, for our common denominators. And using 8, well the quicker way would be 8 times 3. Yeah, 24. 24 is the lowest common multiple. So they have to multiply that one by 8. And that one by 3. So 5 times 8 is 40. 40 over 24 is the equivalent of fraction of 5 over 3. This one we have to multiply by 3. 17 times 3 is 51. 40 plus, oh, answer, 24. Nominator stays the same. 40 plus 51 is 91. Okay, lastly, same with subtraction. 5 and 1 third is 16 over 3 minus 5 over 2. Common multiple for our denominators. 3 and 2, just multiply the 2, you get 6. That uh, would be the new... 6 is a multiple of 3, and it's also a multiple of 2. Yep, there's no one less, so lowest common multiple is 6. So 3 you have to multiply by 2. 2 you have to multiply by 3. Create the equivalent fraction. Multiply the top by the same. Top by the same. We've got 16 times 2 is 30. 5 times 3 is 15. New answer. Denominator stays. 32 minus 15 is 17. Here we go. Done. Thanks everyone.